So were you waiting for somebody else to take it out? <laughs> yeah, I was, but I mean, it's big time racing. Anything can happen and doesn't go out to your play every time. So um, I just took it and I just tried to run as comfortable as I could in the front and waited until someone could take over. And then eventually the Stanford girl took over, which was nice. And I could just relax a bit. And But I knew there was wheels behind me. And I was like, when I make a kick, like I got to go. Any thoughts about maybe starting to push the pace a little faster? Yeah, my, my goal was definitely to push the pace and start my kick from three laps out, but I definitely got boxed in there a little bit, so I just had to relax as much as I could and try to make a move, and it's definitely, definitely hard on these 200 meter bank tracks. So. How demanding is, is, is it uh, to be able to uh, run these races in consecutive days? In what? How, is to run these two races in consecutive days. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot. I've never done that before in my legs were definitely feeling that. <laughs> uh, it looked like there was a little altercation that happened at the end of the race. Yeah, that really kind of messed me up a little bit, but I mean, it happens. I, I tried to get out and someone was really close behind me and we just got tripped up, so. Yeah. How do you feel about second place? I'm ecstatic. I mean, it's, it's second place. I mean, obviously, I wanted to win, but I'll take second. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you would be in this spot a year ago? Um, a year from now? Or? Or a year, a year, a year back. Uh, oh. You projected that. Oh, you no. Know, <laughs> no. I mean, last year would have been like, how you're getting second and like not being ecstatic about it. What? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm definitely just, I'm proud to be where I'm at right now. Did you feel any added pressure uh, today after winning last night? Yeah, definitely some um, unspoken pressure, but I just, I dealt with it as I could and getting pushed to the front wasn't ideal, but I just tried to stay relaxed and I mean, I'm happy with how the race played out and still getting second. Did you see the DMO last night and Danny's kick? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I saw that and I was just like, that girl can kick hard. Like, And then I was like, I gotta, I gotta try kicking from farther out to try to get those wheels away. It was just a case of like, you just couldn't get into position. Yeah, but it happens. I mean, who knows if I would have got into the position, she might have still caught me. <laughs> Chris, just in terms of being able to showcase your, your complete range, you know, uh, over, over the course of, uh, of the past year, you know, between cross and you know, and three K and five K, how, how proud are you of that? That, that you know, that you're through the training that you're able to step up and you know, and, and, and be so competitive and be so formidable at all these distances. Yeah, I'm I'm really proud of that. I never would have thought I'd been competitive from 1500 up, and I just I really like take in my speed and use it when I can. What do you think? Um, definitely the 5K again, and hopefully some more 15s. Are you going to try a 10K? <laughs> uh, double the 5K, that, I don't know about that. Maybe when you're Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Chris, congratulations.